Good morning, church. Um, we are glad that those of you who have taken this time out right now to join us for this live stream with our situation the way it is, uh, the word of God must continue to go on. And so uh, those of you who have logged on to Facebook or onto YouTube, uh, we thank God for you. Uh, there's a word from God today. We're going to start off with a uh, short devotion and uh, uh, scripture and prayer, and we're going to move right along with our service. Um, those of you uh, hopefully have already went to the refrigerator uh, and got your snack, and don't forget to uh, get your warm liquid, not your cold liquids, but your warm liquids. Amen, amen. Uh, we thank uh, Tyrone and uh, Minister Watts and uh, Deacon Trust for lending their uh, help as we uh, get this message out to uh, the public. Um, we're going to have an update from Deacon Anuwa coming uh, on how things are going and how we can remain safe during this time period. Uh, I'm praying for each and every one of you that God would bless us and keep us uh, keep us safe and keep us healthy during these times. Um, uh, you know, it's a little bit of a struggle because our young people think they're Superman and they can't stay at home. So, um, we and I'm talking to my middle kid, by the way. So, um, uh, we pray that all are safe, all are well, and uh, at this time we have uh, Deacon Trust uh, open up devotion. Good morning, church. Well, this song for me is, is one of my favorite songs, but it also just speaks to the times and we, you know, God is continuing to watch over his people. And so I just wanted to say that uh, God has smiled on me. He has set me free. God has smiled on me he's been good to me one more time god has smiled on me he has set me free god has smiled on me He's been good to me. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found was blind but now i see all because god has smiled on me he has set me free god has smiled on me He's been good to me. Amen, amen. amen, amen. Our scripture this morning is going to be coming out of Psalms 91. I'll give everyone a moment to try to get it. Psalms 91. Psalms 91. Psalms 91. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the flower snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. 
you will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, the Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in, in, the, in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra, and you will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, and for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. I've read Psalms 91 in its entirety. May the Lord have a blessing to the reading, hearing, and understanding of his word. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Master of all, creator of everything, we come to you this morning just to say thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for just allowing us to see another day. A day, Lord, that's not promised to anyone, Father. Lord, we come to you just asking you to cover us with your blood of your son, Jesus, Lord. Lord, we have all these problems that's going on in the world right now, Lord. We're dealing with this virus, Lord, a plague that has just covered this whole earth, Father. But, Lord, your word said that these things would happen. But, Father, we know that also that your word said that if we put our trust in you, yes, sir. that you would cover us, yes, Father, Lord. and that you would protect us, Father, from all things, Lord. So I come to you just praying for everyone, Lord, that you just continue to trust and believe in the Lord, that he will protect you and your family and your loved ones. But also remember that the word said that it will rain on the just, just as the unjust. Right. So if it falls on you, don't be discouraged, people. Heavenly Father, just give them the strength to go through the things that they're going through, Lord. And we just thank you, Father, thank for your you. grace and your mercy that you give us to us that's renewed every day, Father. Lord, we pray right now for our pastor, Lord. Give him strength to preach your word, Father. Help us, Father. For all those that are tuned in, Father, just touch them where they're at right now, Lord. And we just thank you. We thank you for all that you do for us, seen and unseen. And we just give you glory, honor, and praise that rightfully yeah. belong to you, Lord. And we ask these things and all things in your blessed son's name, Jesus Christ, as we pray. Amen. 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 Deacon Trust Minister Watts, we thank you for helping us out with our devotion. Amen. Amen. The Lord is blessing me right now oh right now you know the lord is blessing me right now oh right now you know he woke me up this morning and he started me on my way the Lord is blessing me right now right now right now you know he woke me up this morning and I was clothed in my right mind you know he didn't let me sleep too late Well, he woke me right on time You know he woke me up this morning And he started me on my way The Lord is blessing me Right now, right now, right now. Amen. 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 I do want to 
um, acknowledge some people who have helped out this week. Um, um, uh, I definitely want to again uh, recognize Deacon uh, Deacon Martin uh, uh, for setting up this live stream, and for uh, Deacon Trust for his help, and Minister Watts for his help. We are going to do our communion from our homes on the first Sunday. And so if you have not received uh, your communion from a deacon or a minister, it's on its way. And if you don't get it within the next couple of days, please text Deacon Hughes or myself, a Deacon Trust, and let us know so that we can make sure everyone, on Deacon Underwood, he's handling most of Selena's, let us know so that we can deliver the communion to you. If you're in Marina, you want to stop by the church and pick it up, that's fine also. Um, your tithes. If you feel like uh, you're not being blessed by giving your tithes, uh, you can mail the tithes to our post office box if you want to. Uh, you can wait until we are together again and pay your tithes. It's totally up to you. God knows what's on your heart and what's on your mind with your tithes. Um, the... Um, um, all the deacons that have been helping uh, to deliver or to get message, to get the word out to our church members, I, I want to personally thank you for taking some of that uh, off of my plate. I'm working from home and I'm at my chair for 14 to 16 hours every day. And so uh, I'm trying to, uh, to do what's right for God's people. And I thank God for everyone who's helping me uh, to make sure that God's people are taking care of those people who are calling and checking on other people. Uh, thank, I thank God for you. Those who like sister Alice who call to check on me. Uh, I thank God for her, um, for sister Lamika who gave me words of encouragement this morning. Uh, I thank God for you because, uh, um, when I ever, I stand up here, um, I'm always nervous because I never want to lead you the way God, uh, away from what God had, would have us go. Um, I, I try my best not to be opinionated when I preach because uh, if the scriptures don't say it, then I shouldn't say it. So um, again, I thank each and every one of you for all that you do. Uh, I'm gonna read the update. Uh, Deacon Annual Wu has texted me um, the update. So let's read this. He says, first, he says, uh, no cure has uh, been discovered yet. The scientists are very busy trying to discover vaccines and medications for treatment and cure. Secondly, we encourage uh, you to comply to all the guidelines, frequently hand washing with soap and water, um, hand sanitizer for 20 seconds, uh, safe distance, avoid crowds, unnecessary travel, uh, shopping, uh, shelter in place. Uh, he says, eat a balanced diet. Uh, increase your consumption of vitamin C. Minimize your sugar intake. Uh, keep hydrated by drinking warm water with lime or lemon. While home re remedies, uh, while at home, remember to exercise. Uh, move around your house, your apartment. Pray and study. Thank you. Uh, he, he says numbers, he says uh, he'll leave you with numbers 31 and 49. And of course, Psalm 91, we have uh, all, we read that one today. It says, may God save us in Jesus' name, amen. We thank uh, Deacon Annie Wu for that, that uh, uh, update. And, uh, you know, he said minimize your sugar intake for, for us people of color. We should be doing that anyway because we know diabetes is not our friend. Amen. 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 Okay, so we have got our update. Y'all make sure you follow uh, those guidelines. We, we need to stay safe. Uh, some of us, you know, think that we are invincible. Uh, that's the way I used to be when I was in my 30s. Well, I'm not in my 30s anymore. So uh, we need to take precautions and be safe. And then count on God and trust him that he'll bring us through. He's always brought us through things. He'll bring us through this too. Um, and, and he, another advice he says to get up and move around your house. So that means I need to get out of my work chair a little bit more since I'm in it 14, 
14 hours. Amen. So y'all, y'all, y'all pray for your pastor. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Father in heaven, master, I pray right now, father, that you would, uh, have the Holy spirit. Help me preach father. I pray father that, uh, he would give me clarity of speech and clarity of thought. And then we will give your people clarity of understanding, Father. Your word is already blessed, Father. Bless me for a moment, Father. Help me to uh, encourage your people, Father. Bless this church, Father. Bless every church, Father, that's streaming around the country, Father, that's uh, professing your word, Father, to those that have a desire to know you, Master. We pray and we ask these things in the name of our Son, Christ Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Go ahead. At home, find Second Chronicles 7, uh, verse 14. Second Chronicles 7, chapter 7, verse 14. And uh, I'm going to ramble a little bit because I'm always nervous. So uh, while y'all finding that, uh, I'm going to ramble a little bit. Um, again, uh, uh, the communion, we talked about the communion. And, and I want to wish anyone out there who is, uh, who's had a birthday while we've been uh in this situation i'm i'm a, uh i'd like to wish uh, all of you a happy birthday your gift is waiting for you when we return um the um i i um was writing this and you know i wanted to to condense this so we can get in and get out before i lose your attention since you're at home um but as I was writing, it got a little long, so I'm going to try to do this in two parts. Uh, we, we will, uh, in a couple of weeks, uh, I'm going to try to do part two of this. Amen. Second uh, Chronicles 7 and 14. Forgive my nervousness, y'all. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. Amen. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his holy word. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be straight with you right off the bat here. Uh, I was talking with, with my brother, the one that came out, uh, Kenny, um, on last Sunday night, and uh, uh, I, he, he had brung the scripture up, and I told him straight up, I told him I was going to steal it. So I did. Uh, he, he, he simply told me that it will preach. And so uh, what I hope for today is with the help of the Holy Spirit is uh, this week is light the fuse. Then God willing, after Easter, we will uh, set the whole thing on fire, and we'll do part two of this. Uh, I want to establish uh, first who we are and who we are not. Uh, the scripture says, if my people, that is God's people. And so for a title for this message, uh, for part one, we're going to use if, if. Um, it is believed that our author is Ezra. Second Chronicles is addressed to Israel, but there is a message there for us in God's word today. The book of Second Chronicles starts off with Solomon asking for wisdom from God. Solomon had established himself over the kingdom, for the Lord his God was with him. God appeared to Solomon at night and said, ask for whatever you want me to give you. Unlike some of us, he did not ask for riches. No, Solomon said, give me wisdom and knowledge. God said, since this is your desire and you did not ask for wealth, I will give you wealth, riches and honor. In chapter 2, Solomon prepares to build a temple, the temple to God, the temple that his father David wanted to build. And then in chapter 3, he builds the temple. And then in the next few chapters, he finishes and dedicates the temple. 
Now we come to our text. Walk with me and Solomon for a few minutes. In chapter 7, after the fire from heaven had consumed the offerings and sacrifices made to God, after the dedication of the temple, the Israelites then worshiped and gave thanks, saying, He is good, and his mercy endures forever. So let me ask you this morning, have you given thanks to God for he is good and his mercy endures forever? That, that's not my message, but I thought I'd just throw that in there. I can see, I can't see your faces, so uh, I'm just going to believe that you have uh, given God this thanks this morning because he woke us up this morning and he started us on our way. Even if starting us on our way was just a trip to the kitchen. I'm sure you've heard this message of Second Chronicles uh, 7 and 14 many times before. But the scripture is appropriate for every day. But with all that is going on, it especially suits us during these times. The world is looking to the governor, the president. But I'm telling them if they want to roll with us, they can start looking to Jesus. You think God doesn't know what's going on? Psalms 139.16 says, you saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. You see, God knows all about us. And if you don't consider yourself one of God's people, uh, we invite you to join the family. Isaiah said, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. I wish y'all were here to help me preach, y'all. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. See, uh, but when you come, though, you, you must realize God is not a genie. You can't rub on him for wishes. I said it last week, and I'll probably say it again. And God willing, I'll say it next week and the week after. Minister Watts said it earlier also. The rain falls on the just and the unjust alike. Don't expect to be dry standing in the rain. Although our God is merciful, the rain will still fall. Elder Smith uh, used to sing that song, I got Jesus and that's enough. The world doesn't understand that, but you, my brothers and sisters in Christ, know what a friend we have in Jesus. Because when we are talking about Jesus, we are talking about a friend of mine. Now, while still walking in the text, Solomon asked God for provisions for uh, the people when they sin. God, who answers prayers, uh, laid down some conditions. Before we get to those conditions, uh, that'll be my part two uh, in a couple of weeks. Uh, help me walk backwards uh, to verse 13. God said something we need to take notice of here in our text. He says, when I shut up the heavens so there is no rain, or command the locusts to devour the land, or send pestilence. The Life Application Study Bible says a plague among my people. You can debate all you want to about uh, our present day circumstances. But what we need to do is focus on God. God said, if my people. We have heard pastor preach the if before. So let's stay right there for part one. Uh, Marion Webster says, if. Is defined as uh, in the event of, on the assumption that, or on the condition that. Uh, Thayer's Greek lexicon says a conditional. It's it's a conditional particle, uh, which makes reference to time, to experience, 
introducing something future, but not determining it uh, before the event, whether it is uh, certain to take place, if this happens, if that happens. God is telling us from time to time something might happen, a drought, a plague, whatever it may be. Uh, in Deuteronomy 28, God says, if you faithfully obey the voice of the Lord your God, being careful to do all his commandments that I command you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations on the earth, and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Blessed shall you be in the city. Blessed shall you be in the field. I know y'all help me preach that. Blessed shall be the fruit of your womb and the fruit of the ground and the fruit of your cattle, the increase of your herds and the young of your flock. Blessed shall be your baskets, your kneading bowl. Blessed shall you be when you come in and blessed shall you be when you go out. The, this word, if, is from a previous covenant uh, from God. He said, if the Israelites obey, then they will be blessed. If, they say that if is one of the biggest words in the Bible. Pastor told us, you can't have life without if in the middle. In Job, there is an appeal made around if. It says, if you have understanding, hear this. Listen to the sounds of my words. If you have understanding. Proverbs 4, 5, and 7 says, get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not. And she shall preserve thee. <coughs> Love her. And she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get an understanding. I wish y'all were here to help me preach. Do we understand who God is? Do we realize that he is God and his mercy endures forever? Know God, seek him, get an understanding. If my people who are called by my name. If is a poem. There's a, a poem called If by uh, English noble, uh, noble uh, lariat um, Rupert Kipling written around 1895. It's about the endurance of pain and hardship without the display of feelings and, and without complaint. Reebok uh, produced a shoe commercial back in 1993 uh, featuring basketball Hall of Famers Wilt Chamberlain, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Bill Russell, Willis Reed, Bill Walton, and John Wooden reciting some of this poem, If, to then NBA uh, rookie Shaquille O'Neal, stating that if he worked hard enough, he could be as great as they were. If. The first stanza of this poem starts off, it says, uh, if you keep your head about you when all others are losing theirs and blaming it on you, then you will be okay. <coughs> but let me change that just a little bit and say, uh, if others are blaming you and your God, uh, if you keep your focus on him, then you will be okay. They have no use, uh, the world, for God, unless they can blame him for something or call upon him in that last and desperate hour. 
if my people who are called by my name. And don't get me wrong. Um, I'm not saying that we Christians are perfect. Because if we were perfect, we wouldn't need Jesus. We are sinners because his words say we are. Uh, so I'm not putting the Christian on a pedestal above the world. I'm just saying that the world has no use for God until they get desperate. We are Christians who count and trust on God every day of our life. At least that's how we should be living. Also, in this first stanza uh, of this poem, he says, uh, if you can wait and not be tired by waiting. Uh, Psalms 27 says, uh, deliver me not over unto the will of my enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me. Uh, such breathe out cruelty. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall uh, strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. I know y'all helped me preach that. We, we don't like to wait. We are an instant society. God's word is full of examples of time and uh, of his time and man's time not being the same. Uh, Abraham and Sarah didn't want to wait on God. The world today still has the effects of that patience between Sarah and Abraham. Uh, we look <clears throat> at if in Jeremiah, the people are asking for prayer and dedication and direction. Jeremiah 42 says, uh, I have heard you, replied Jeremiah the prophet. I will certainly pray to the Lord your God as you have requested. I will tell you everything the Lord says and will keep nothing back from you. Then they said to Jeremiah, may the Lord be a true and faithful witness against us if we do not act accordance, in accordance with everything the Lord your God sends you to tell us. Catch, catch verse 6. Verse 6 says, whether it is favorable or unfavorable, we will obey the Lord our God to whom we are uh, sending you so that it will go well with us, for we will obey the Lord our God. You see, obedience brings a blessing. Moses told the children of Israel uh, to hear the decrees and the laws that I am about to teach you. Follow them so that you may live and may go in and take possessions of the land of the Lord. God has things for uh, us even greater than what we have now if we are obedient to his will and his way. Uh, if my people who are called by my name, if they would be obedient. And in the second stanza of Kipling's poem, uh, he says, if you can meet triumph and disaster and treat those two just the same, you will be okay. And while we are going through our current situation today, we must realize that the victory is ours. Don't let this situation bring you down. Stay trusting in the Lord. Wait upon the Lord and he shall renew your strength. They that mount upon, uh, shall mount upon uh, wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. I wish y'all would help me here to help me preach that. If my people, let's look at the my. As we get ready to close out this message, the my is our Lord and Savior. Uh, people love invoking the name of the Lord in all occasions, good and bad. <clears throat> Even the non-believers, uh, when they sneeze, like to say, bless you. Even the atheist says Jesus' name almost out of habit while yet not believing. To be one of God's people, we must be sanctified. That is, set apart. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That you may prove what is, what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. I know y'all help me preach that. 
God's people are those who praise the name of the Lord. For his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. Psalms 148, 13 says, he is your most high God, an all-sufficient master. He is Alpha and Omega. He is the one who will provide. He is our Father in heaven. To his people, he is not the man upstairs, nor the big guy in the sky. To his people, he is Jehovah Ra, the Lord, our shepherd. To be one of his people means surrendering to him. All to Jesus I surrender. All to him I freely give. I will ever love and trust him in his presence daily live. I wish y'all were here right now to help me close this message. So y'all, I'm, 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 I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to vision y'all uh, standing with me, helping me finish this. The word if is conditional. The word if is scattered all through God's words for his people. Leviticus 26 uh, says, if you walk in my statutes and keep my commandments so as to carry them out, then I will give you rains in their season so that the land will yield its produce and the trees of the field will bear their fruit if my people. Isaiah 48 and 18 says, if only you had paid attention to my commandments, then your well-being would have been like a river and your righteousness like the waves of the sea. If my people who are called by my name Deuteronomy 6 and 25 says it will be righteousness for us if we are careful to observe all these commandments before the Lord our God, just as he commanded us. If my people who are called by my name, Matthew 16 and 24 says, if anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. If my people who are called by my name. Romans 10 and 9 says, uh, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. If my people who are called by my name. John 1, 1 John 1 says, if uh, that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice truth. If my people who are called by my name, but if we walk in the light as he is the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus Christ. His son cleanses us from all sin. If my people who are called by my name, if we uh, say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Yeah, if my people who are called by my name, uh, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That is, if my people who are called by my name, the Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said unto him, I have heard thy prayer and have chosen this place uh, to myself as a house of sacrifice. Uh, if I shut up the heavens and there be no more rain. And if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and uh, will heal their land. We're going we're gonna to hit that in a few weeks, y'all. Now, my eyes shall be open. My ears shall be attentive unto the prayers that is made in this place. You see, uh, these times may be filled with swift transition. Not on earth unmoved can stand. I know y'all helping me. Build your hopes on things eternal. Hold to God's unchanging hand. Trust in him who will not leave you whatsoever these times may bring. If thy earthly friends forsaken, still more closely to him cling. Covet not this world's vain riches that so rapidly decay. Seek to gain the heavenly treasures. They will never pass away. 
And when your journey is completed, if to God you have been true, fair and bright your home in glory, your enraptured soul will view. You see, if my people would humble themselves and seek God, the great emancipator, God, the great hard regulator, the one who makes my way brighter, the one who makes my burdens lighter, he will save you. God has brought me. God has taught me. He is my shepherd. He is my guide. I can feel him walking right now with me, walking by my side. The song says I got Jesus, and that's enough. And so I tell you this morning that if you got Jesus, that's enough. I know times are scary. Times are frightening. But if you got Jesus, you got enough. If my people who are called by my name, we're going we're gonna to hit that, the rest of that. Those requirements that God has in a couple of weeks. We have uh, Easter approaching and we're prepared for Easter. But, but uh, we must realize that Jesus is in control. Because uh, uh, one early one Sunday morning, he got up from the grave with all power. Um, you know, uh, we, God's people, we have to, uh, you know, there's guidelines and stuff they want us to follow. And we should follow. But we should always have our trust in the Lord. And so I pray that something today was said to encourage you that if you are one of God's people, then you have to uh, obey God, be obedient to God, do what God tells you to do. Uh, if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves, pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. We're going to attack that in a couple of weeks, y'all. Uh, I, I, when I started writing, um, it got a little long, and so I had to, to break it off. Um, because I don't want y'all to get up and turn me off because you have that power while you're sitting at home. Amen. Amen. We encourage you uh, during this time to hold on because the change is coming. It says, uh, yesterday, a man stepped to me. He said, how can you smile when your world is crumbling down? I said, here's my secret. When I want to cry, I take a look around and I see that I'm getting by and I hold on.